Uh, hello and welcome to the um, weekly daily. Mateusz Mysielski, uh, meme, and this is round four of standard daily with uh, humans. And uh, we won the dice roll. We obviously choose to go first, and we have a very good hand of a champion into a burning tree emissary into a mayor of our bug. Ah, uh, this might come, come handy late game, the Zeus conscript. Uh, with this hand, we put a lot of early pressure. Oh, sorry. If you can deal with it somehow, uh, then we get to, to finish the job. Uh, we obviously always start with the non-painful land if we can. We can just draw more lands and um, and there's like no necessity of uh, of painting. Okay, what's that? Well, the only reasonable thing I'm thinking of here is uh, is a tragic slip. Might be also bluffing. He's a quite seasoned player. If he's tragic slipping, then he's on jant, which is not very good news. Uh, pretty unfortunate. This is not very, very common. Uh, if it gets played, it gets played. It gets played like in twos. Um, rarely in threes. So pretty unhappy this happened. Uh, we would be set up for this game if it didn't. Okay, more removal. Not very good. Now we're still pressuring. If he plays like a Fractus, uh, we definitely need a land. Oh, damn it. Sorry, misclicked. Hopefully, it's not a Fractus. This would be a very good hand for him. Tragic sip into Farsic into Dressboard to straight Fractus. Oh, great. He can even use that terrible card against us profitably. The Ragdus Return. This card is doing nothing usually against this deck. Uh, well, I did. I, I was getting quite good draws for the most of this match. So, uh, the dead card. They need to play this because their, their matchup against Junk is like horrible. That's why he has it. Okay, he doesn't have more. Hopefully he doesn't draw Shrug Task. Oh no, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> really? Just like that. Uh... Yeah, I'll squeeze two damage and then I rest. Oh, I'll, uh, by the way, I'm I'm losing because I missed two damage there by misclicking. Actually, no, 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 not not the bonfire. Oh. Well, I could counter it, but still, <laughs> be pretty terrible. Liliana doesn't do nothing. Fine. Tragic sip. Nope. I don't care about Ileana. I might still get there. After his magnificent start, he didn't have any fuel. Oh, damn it. Ah, it's very bad news. Again. I should actually um I should actually cast the searing spear and just kill the frog that's gonna attack with the medic. Uh this way I would force him to charm block. Oh great, okay, bonfire. <sighs> I 
<laughs> That's not a very good joke. I should also kill Liliana. I'm making numerous mistakes in this game. Like the small ones, but they pile up to, to a lose. If I would kill Liliana, my uh, my flip mayor is much better than his beast token. And now he's just gonna make me sacrifice it. Yep. A lot of bad decisions. I didn't see the bonfire though, I preferred to... Oh great, he also top decks a Kessig. <laughs> well, this is this is so much. I, I should... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a complete idiot. I, will, I lost this game just on my mistakes. I don't have anything for my defense. Also the main deck electricery kind of punished me. <laughs> Uh, I don't really have a sideboarding plan against this deck. Like, Morbid and Captive is too slow, Electricary is obviously useless. Uh, I don't like Fiend Hunter because he has a lot of value creatures, but other than that, I'm not really sure what to side. Uh, Garuk is very good against him. That's a card that, that card mainly got into this deck just because of Jant. I'm not really sure if it should be like Boros Charm, Oblivion Ring on Handmaster. But on the on the play, if I'm going for the Falia plan, I prefer a Handmaster, maybe like one Boros Charm. Or yeah, on the draw, I might side out the Handmasters and Falias and just side completely different. Like uh, here, oh great. <sighs> yeah, this is slow, but it has Garruks. Garruks are the best cards against him. If I won last match, last game, then I, I wouldn't have to worry. Yeah, this never flips. <laughs> it just doesn't happen in this matchup. Oh great. I think I don't want or oh, maybe the Boros Charm at least kills this. No, but on the other hand this is symmetric, so he needs to like discard as well. I really don't know how he why he kept um Liliana. I think it's pretty terrible in this matchup. I'm gonna have discard the land if he discard if he makes us discard again. And I'm definitely trading this. Cause this card just owns the game by itself. Very bad, very bad play from me, game one. Very bad. <sighs> very unhappy with it. <coughs> uh, this is the only deck that I'm actually afraid of Fractask in. I'm not worried about Fractask in the other decks. But in this one with all his removal, one frog task is a lot. Okay. Bonfire. And what a pillar? Okay. I would never flip this. Never. <laughs> this this gives me gives me so much so many opportunities to like make value like now I uh, uh, that was a huge mistake on his part you don't want uh, a human player to have Garuk flipped so don't yes okay Hmm. 
So I guess that makes a bit more sense. Uh, we got lands of conscripts, but just sacrificing the Garuk isn't really what I want to do. So I'm just gonna make a token and flip the Huntmaster. Hopefully he just wants to burn him down. And I can play the Restoration Angel. And I can see if I want to charm block. I probably want to charm block the Olivia. Then I can actually take his Olivia with the conscripts. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. I might just go for a... Oh, I've got another angel. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. This is a very good draw, because I would actually go for it uh, to charm block him again. But this way I can just repeat and then go for the conscripts or just for the ultimate next turn. Ultimate, sorry. So, living Handmaster's end proved to be right. Is this a vampire? It's not, because it's flipped. And now it's uh, it's gonna change the actual thing. Yes, I did go draw you. Fine. No, that's not fine. Well, now he had very good draw, but I'm top decking again. And winning this. Okay, that game was played much better by me than the other one. And on the draw, I probably don't want the Falia. Um, probably want Oblivion Rings. I don't know if I want all of them. If he leaves the the Liliana for whatever reason, I don't I don't really get why he leaves her, and I just want like four Oblivion Rings. I'm gonna leave the Handmaster in. Uh, I there was time when I was siding it out, but I think it's pretty good against him. I don't know if he's playing the uh, Arbor Elves. I don't know if all the Giant list actually played the Arbor Elf, but. I don't think that uh, little removal is worth uh, siding anyway. I'll keep it. I'll keep it because swing spears were good against him. And there's like not a lot of pressure, but okay, he does play the arbor elf. It's gonna be pretty bad when he plays uh, like Liliana right now, I think. Although I can just discard lands for a bit, so not terrible. I do think that he just miracled bonfire. Unless he's bluffing the draw stop. I've got it on still. <laughs> like I got so used, to, I I got so used to it because everyone was playing like bonfire. I was playing for bonfire in my. Um... I think I'm killing this arbor elf. Like four drops are very good in his deck. Uh, so I got so used to it that I'm playing pretty automatically, and when I've got it. Huh. Yeah, definitely one medic here. When I get it out, I get it out, then I just uh, cycle for my main phase often. 
which is not very good. Why does he leave this Olivia? That's that Liliana. It's really not good. Like I'm playing so much, like those guys. I really, I really can't see how. If he if he really miracle the bonfire there and he just plays a land and I'm there, but I can't really play around bonfire. So one card I definitely can't play around. That, I'm dead to a bonfire. Yeah, he miracled the bonfire there. Ah, okay. Well, this is one of the reasons why this matchup is actually bad. Um, I don't think this matchup would be a, an actual problem without bonfire. And that's basically the card that makes it pretty horrible. Because he can just blow me out like here from time to time. All my value just goes away. And this is Shark Task and I'm dead. Well, that's pretty unfortunate in this game. The bonfire especially. Uh, but, I mean, this deck is all removal, so not really surprising. Should just win game one. And this probably wouldn't be a problem because I would be on play and then everything else would be completely different. Another frag task? That would be pretty good for him. Yes. And that's probably game over for me. I mean, this is not the greatest matchup. Uh, Olivia is a, a huge problem. Bonfire is a huge problem. On the other hand, you can just sometimes out-tempo him or get him screwed or or, uh, or flooded like like happened game two. He was screwed a little. Uh, if I if I didn't like completely fail game two, game one, I would also be in, in a good position uh, where uh, where I would just spear him in response to his frag task. So uh, this is definitely not the end of the world. This matchup, I wouldn't play humans in the meta where where giant is like prevalent, definitely. But uh, it's still winnable. I think it's actually around like 50-50ish. Yeah, another one. So we lost against giant. This is like three one uh, in the daily. Uh, I hope you like the deck. I like it. I know that. Uh, it has a game against everything. It has a good matchup against Junk and against Blitz, which are the most uh, the best decks in the meta. It loses to uh, to Reconer and Falcon of Aristocrat pretty badly, but well, everyone has its weak, weak matchups. And like with Junk, you can definitely win, as you could see. If I didn't found game one, I would definitely win this. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you on next weekly daily.